My name is Lola Akbara. Um, my relationship to clay is quite simple. I was introduced to clay via a non-for-profit job that I held. Um, one of our perks was to take classes for free, so I ended up taking a portrait in clay class. From there, I figured the sky's the limit. If I could make a head out of clay, I could, I could do anything. I use clay more so to create bodies or more figurative works. Um, a lot of my work is to the point, um, very obvious, and a lot of it is abstract. Um, so I, I toggle between the two, creating abstract works in more figurative pieces. A lot of my work has feminine qualities to it. So that's where you see the more sensual shapes and voluptuous bodies or curves that may mimic rolls, back rolls, stomach rolls, the rolls that show up when you sit down, and magically disappear when you stand up. But a lot of it um, has very feminine undertones to it. Sometimes I try to balance that out with color and texture. Um, so I use a lot of blacks, use a lot of texture in the work, um, a lot of reflective coloring or glazes uh, to reflect upon the viewer. Um, but yeah. I'm mostly driven by a cause. Um, most of the time it's adversity. Um, with my work in particularly, it's me responding to kind of the ridiculousness and beauty standards um, that we set for ourselves socially. Um, so a lot of my work does respond to that. A lot of it is um, combating the, um, the kind of to be expected beauty norms. Um, whether it's being very thin and, or having long hair or blue eyes or whatever that may be. I try to combat that in my work. So a lot of my work is very shapely, has a lot of curves to it. A lot of the time it's in a darker tone. Um, sometimes I include hair in my pieces and it wouldn't be the necessary, you know, blonde tresses you might see in magazines, but more so um, big hair, braided hair, things like that. Sometimes I even add large earrings um, to kind of add accessory to the work, and more humanness. Um, but yes, driven by a cause. I hope people, when they see my work, I hope they see themselves in some kind of way. That's the takeaway I want people to have. For them to be able to relate in some way, whether it's they relate in the shape of the piece or to the cause or, you know, anything. Being in the studio and using your hands to really roll out clay and uh, kind of make clay or do whatever else, I feel more accomplished. I feel like I'm doing the work. Um, I feel more entitled to call this my work. I feel more proud. Um, and it's just a feeling that I get.